Hey everyone, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today, we are back with another speed build, and we're going to build a rhino habitat. I called this rhino launch, uh, basically because we're building like a little launch building, or a ranch building. I, you know, I, I wanted to call it a ranch, but it's not really like a ranch, because a ranch kind of has some different, um, you know, different pens and stuff for different animals, and you know, all these kind of things. Um, Usually you do see with the ranch and I think, you know, um, I wanted to go more for like a launch which uh, goes a bit more into this idea of this one-off uh, build uh, that I'm, I have going on at the moment. So yeah, it's it's more likely this thing is going to be called a launch um, and yeah, it's basically just one very African styled building. You can definitely tell that from the thumbnail already. And this build um, in general is very cool um, when it comes to the choice of pieces I, I used for it. I have to say this is my favorite build from the new pieces and in general the Africa pack um, in general. Like I I did actually, um, yeah, basically um, flex my creative muscles on this build in terms of I really wanted to go into some interiors. I really wanted to use the pieces in a different way. I really wanted to try uh, to see what's working or whatnot. Um, and so, yeah, at the end, uh, I ended up doing it in this way. It's definitely not going to be the most elaborate build I've ever done. Um, I think it's, you know, small and cozy. It fits very well into one episode. And for, mo for the moment, I think for me personally, this is the this is the way to go. This is the stuff that really works the best. I'm putting like three to four hours into one habitat and then uh, we are good to go with a, with a, yeah, with a build that I, I, I'm very pleased to share with you guys because yet again, this thing will be available to you guys in the workshop. So I would really love if you guys can just grab it, rate it, um, let me know in the comments down below how you like it or if there's anything you would change. Um, and so you can utilize that in your uh, different uh, parks. Also, let me know in the comments down below um, if you want to see me doing more of these one-off habitats that you can actually download. I mean, this is all in the same save file and I will release this as a little Africa park at the end. Um, at this point there is only the fennec fox missing and these, uh, the beetle. I'm not sure if I will do anything with the fennec fox in here. Um, potentially I'm just going to put them into a small habitat and that's about it. And I'm going to release this as the Africa area. There is a lot more potential though, uh, I'm, I'm going to say. Um, so maybe I'm going to turn this into a fake scenario. I'm still a bit mad that we don't have a scenario editor. But if you want to build like an African park, I could turn that into something. So please let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see um, happens with this Africa park I'm going to start. If you don't know exactly what this is all about, um, you can see this in the real-time part later in which I'm going to actually show you around. Um, of course, most of all with this launch over here, but also I'm going to show you around when it comes to the overall build I've done over here. I've, I've done the um, penguin habitat, the African penguin one. I've done the meerkat at the beginning. Um, so yeah, this is this is all about it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy these one-off builds. That's all I wanted to say. Also, I want to talk to you guys about something that I have been listening to while building this. Now, uh, it appeared in the last couple of days that I am uh, going a little bit back into my old routine of uh, going upstairs and uh, building something in the game uh, after my wife and the baby now um, went to bed. Now, actually, our little girl sleeps so well um, that we finally decided to try to go back into a little bit of an old routine. So once or twice a week, um, I, uh, I still go to bed with them. But then again, uh, some other days, I'm just going to go upstairs while they go into bed bed around 10 p.m. ish I guess um, is most likely the time we are aiming for at the moment and since the baby girl sleeps until like 7 8 a.m. which is crazy um, we we are very confident to do it that way and it works out pretty well and hence I have the time to build a bit more in the evening even though I have to admit at the moment it's more likely that I'm just chilling a little bit and playing some stuff myself to just uh, enjoy my free time so to say um, but yeah so uh, what I discovered is and I have no freaking clue how on earth I missed out on this but I discovered the podcast um, from the wonderful guys that also played in the TV series Scrubs. 
So I've no idea how old you guys are, but if you are as old as I am, around the 30s, you definitely will know the former TV series Scraps, which is um, which is a series that you know um, did take uh, some medicine students uh, through their time in a hospital. This um, this is uh, more likely JD and Turk and Elliot and so on, um, and they are they are played by uh, some amazing actors, and those actually now have a podcast. Well, now is actually a, a wrong word but it started it last year um it's like fake doctors and real friends i think that's how it's called um and you can listen to that on on all of your favorite um podcast platforms i'm listening to it on uh, spotify and they talk you through each and every episode so in case you guys haven't seen scrubs first of all i highly recommend it is one of my all-time favorite series um i i actually worked in a hospital at the time when the series was released um that's not really true um I think it was season three or four that was running when I was in hospital. But already back then, I said that this is the most realistic series when it comes to um, how close it is to the actual um, life in a hospital. Um, there are a lot of great insights to the series in um, in the episodes. And it's a real pleasure to listen to them. It's a lot of fun. And if you guys are interested in that and you know the series, please let me know. And yeah, I want to use that. Do you know Scrubs, guys? Do you know the series? If so, what's your favorite about the series? What's What's your favorite character um, and if not what's your favorite series at the moment because maybe I want to watch another series I don't know uh, anyhow before I will leave you alone with the rest of the um, speed build I should actually talk about this build a bit more so you can see um, that this building is basically featuring two main parts. This is the very blocky main building, uh, which is just the launch itself, if you want, if you want, um, in in which the people can sit down, just enjoy the time. You know, I imagine that this could actually be also where some education goes on. And then you have this more like roundish, almost like small tower on, on the side, which is something I found when I was googling some uh, images from uh, from ranches and lounges in Kenya or Kenya Kenya how do you say that in English I don't know the, the country in Africa okay that's that's what I was talking about um, anyways and there's a lot of great inspiration um, I, I draw my ideas from and this there was one of these buildings I think it was not really uh, no I definitely wasn't a ranch it was more likely um, kind of a destination holiday destination like a, kind of a bungalow in which you can live and potentially you need some more money to live there but I found this like a cool idea to make this almost like um, a launch in here where you can sit down and just enjoy the time with this like roundish window giving you the glimpse into the savannah and then in the savannah you can actually see the rhinos moving around and again obviously you could turn this into like a more like a, a kind of a bigger habitat with a different species in you could even put like elephants as well uh, but you know I just wanted to you know boil it down to the rhino and maybe some ostriches that would actually fit in I guess but um yeah, for the moment, it's definitely about uh, rhinos, I guess. If you guys have some ideas what else we could put in, let me just know. Um, but there are a couple of things that I'm just very happy with um, how this turned out. I will talk you through that in the real-time part uh, because I can then just show you around a bit better. But that should be about it for my commentary. I'm going to keep it a little bit shorter today because I actually want to go to my football training as well, which is in a couple of minutes. And so I want to end the recording now and prepare for the training. Uh, the real-time part is going to be made later. So, um, yeah, enjoy the last couple of minutes of the time lapse, And then we talk again in about five-ish minutes in the real-time part.
Alright ladies and gentlemen, here we are now in the real time part and you can already tell we are going to go a little bit further to the front. Here is already the sign that shows us the pathway towards the Rhino launch. You can see there's a lot going on here. I, I, you know, I did actually decide to put some ostriches within um, the habitat as well because I just found this to be a bit of a better idea. Um, so you can see there are some rhinos roaming around, we've got some ostriches and of course there is this beautiful little launch building in the center. Now, um, obviously, uh, this is kind of a little bit dangerous if you go through here. I guess you need to definitely have someone with you. There are some fences, you know, um, to hold you away from the uh, from the animals. If you're like over here, for example, um, you potentially would need to put these fences everywhere. But I, I like the idea of having this as like a very open area. So this is what we this is what we have. So you can definitely tell. Look at those two fellows over here. Look at them just going to each, towards each other. Hello. So um, this is this is where the launch is. Look at this. There's another one in the background as well. There's a little um, shelter build. I'm not even sure if they can all go in there, but I guess they should. Um, but yeah, well, we. Excuse me. Hello. What are you? What are you doing over here, my friend? How are you doing? How are you doing? All fine by you? Isn't that a little bit warm with your fuzzy little uh, kind of stuff you're wearing? I don't know. Look at this. Okay, never mind. We're going to go further, a bit quicker than the ostrich friend. And you can see this is the building. I'm still quite happy with how this turned out. I think the way the windows, the custom windows work and everything is fine. Um, I think this little veranda over here works kind of nice. I have no clue where this guy is running. We don't even have a veterinarian station. So this, this, this girl is just running around carrying this animal forever, I guess. Um, yeah, I wish you luck. So uh, this is the building. And again, I like the fact it's slightly raised. I like the fact how this, uh, the colors just kind of work together with this like bit of greenish, muddish color over here, looking almost a little bit weathered. And then we have got a lot of thatch going on, even bamboo. Um, I just took these bamboo pieces because they work the best. I'm, I'm not the most happy person when it comes to these pieces in general. I think they lack a little bit of depth and, you know, um, they, they, there are a million pieces that are better in the game, but they just worked fine for what I needed here. And then of course, all the wood over here on the ground, you can see this is the veranda you're on. And then, oh boy, look at that. We have the, rhino sleeping in the little shelter oh i love that i you know i love that it's actually working out um you know that's the farm the ranch whatever you want to call that we are on here the launch and if we go inside oh yeah this is how it's looking inside i love i just love it it turned out so super cozy and nice and this is just like you just want to sit down you know enjoy the time it's kind of open somewhere but it, you know it's kind of hot over here so a bit of airflow is definitely not the, the worst thing to happen got a palm tree in the corner here that is just fitted into one of these pots so like uh, and then you go into this corner and this is where this lovely little lounge area is and I yeah I just I just love how this is working you know you've got this window where you can you know have a little peek outside into the habitat and um, we've got some shutters that you can move over to shut this uh, close if you need to you know make sure that the sun is not uh, cracking too much onto the windows and making it too boiling hot in here um, you can see some of the animals there's like a food station over here there's something to drink in general there's like a little pond in which they can go into to you know cool themselves down and making sure that the ground also looks good with the tiling and some carpets in here and also the roof pattern looks kind of cool i did some attempts until i was really happy with the roof how it looked but i think i'm quite happy with how this turned out now and just in general i'm very happy with how the launch in general turned out like let's just also have a look outside of those windows over here so we've got a couple of things in here like a little mud bath thingy you know um, where there's also like a sprinkler and i hope that they just go there a bit more often to use this as an enrichment item because i really want these animals to go there look at Look at the ostrich. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. So yeah, you can actually tell that this worked out pretty well. I just want to go into that corner. Tedget cam is being weird right now. So yeah, here you can have a look into the shelter. That's definitely not enough shelter for all these animals, but still, look at that one. There's the there's one of the ostrich coming around. There's another one coming in the background. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Are you going to play with this big gimbal thingy? I don't I don't think you will, right? This is way too big for you. Let's see what's happening. Please don't kick it away. Oh, it's okay. Perspective fooled me. Perspective fooled me. What is this rhino doing? Okay, nothing nothing crazy in particular, but we can also have a little glimpse at it. Hey, I'm just stuck again. What is this? Hello. I yeah, there you go. 
This is so weird. The change in tangent cam is cool that you're always like slow, but it's also super weird because it just sometimes doesn't really work the way it should. And yeah, there you have the view to the front of the veranda here, so to say. There's like this little lake. It's not almost like a lake. It's like a very big puddle, I guess. It's not not a, not a lake. It's a big puddle, okay? Let's keep it that way. Um, we've got rhinos roaming around. We've got the backstage of the penguin habitat and so on and so forth. I actually want to show you guys this file now from the bird's perspective. So this is how uh, my little Africa area is looking right now and it almost could turn into something that I give to you guys in the workshop. So you guys can actually um, use this and, and build a zoo upon that area because this is almost, in terms of layout and stuff like this, it's not a zoo. This is almost really like a ranch, uh, you know, kind of or like a farm that was turned into like a habitat for those animals um, because that's kind of where people, you know, have this is the star of the show, so to say, where people have like a destination to go. Um, maybe previously someone lived there and now it's turned into like a tourist attraction. And now you have like a real area in here and you could build from here, um, having like a backstage area on this side. And then you could just kind of build upon here. I don't know what you think about this. Let me know in the comments down below if you think that's a good idea. I certainly think it is a good idea, but I'm really curious to hear your opinion on that. But uh, as I said, um, this is it for today. Having a good, nice final look from this perspective over here with the ranch launch and the background and everything else. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, as always, um, you know, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. That helps the most. And also, if you have something to say, let me know in the comments down below to help trigger the wonderful algorithm, our best friend ever. Now, I wish you guys a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the time. Stay safe, everyone. And I talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.